What's going on people? Welcome to Snails Geek Show. I'm the Snails Geek and now I'm back with another review. But for this review I will not talk about a game. No, 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 no. That's just too little. In this video I'm gonna talk about something that's very close to my heart. Something I received a few days ago and I've been playing it for about these few days. I figure it's time to do an overview of what I want to show you. So now here is the Nintendo 3DS XL. So many people know about the Nintendo 3DS. It was Nintendo's previous handheld. Now the 3DS was was initially released in 2011, in March of 2011, retailing at $250. Nintendo was already being highly successful with the Wii console, and then Nintendo just said basically this that they were that they thought the hardcore fans would buy it, but without the lack of quality games, and $250 at the price tag. The 3DS did not do well during its first during its first first few months. It was actually when they decided Nintendo decided to cut the price on the 3DS and include a pack in. And those that bought the 3DS very early on for the $250 price tag will get a special bonus. They would be allowed to download 10 LG 10 GBA titles for free on the 3DS, which you know it's kind of fair for for those that bought the hardware early to at least get some kind of bonus. They were nice about that, but when the 3DS initially, but like I said, it didn't do very very well. But with these changes, add a packing game and lower the price, the 3DS finally took off. And the packing game also became one of the most iconic games on the 3DS. Super Mario 3D World, a platform that everyone has talked about. And if you're gonna start off with the 3DS today, in 2019, then that should be one of the first games you should get. Yeah, sure, there are many of them, but that is the perfect starting point. It has pretty good graphics, the 3D is top notch, and it's overall just a pretty good Mario game on a handheld. And considering the, the handle itself had had considerably higher power output than any other graphically, you could finally achieve true 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 3D platform that you couldn't do exactly the same on the Nintendo DS. So yeah, there you could turn on the 3D like that. And despite it being being the main selling point initially, it was eventually scrapped. My, like, yeah, it was still included on the 3DS, but it wasn't like a main selling point anymore. Now it was the free, now it was, it was the games. Now let me tell you, there are a ton of great games on the Nintendo 3DS. There's JRPGs, platformers, races, first person shooters, action, everything you could possibly imagine. And there's even Sims 3. That's right, Sims 3. On the Nintendo 3DS was the one game that absolutely everybody went crazy for. Not really. To be honest, the 3DS launch lineup was pretty weak. But really, these games weren't really that good, especially since the only Nintendo produced game at launch was, was Pilot Wings Resort, which in itself is not a terrible game, but when you consider the later games, it falls pretty flat. As recently, there has been three different models released of the 3DS. First there is the standard 3DS, which is this one right, right here. This is what the world was introduced to initially. It's like it's a slightly bit larger than a DS that than, than a DS light. There's no GBA slot. And that was something that the original DS and DS Lite had, which is not present on the 3DS. And then there is the 3DS XL. This is my favorite version. This is where I jumped in. I love beefy handhelds and this is a handle that I absolutely love. I play a lot of 3DS games on this one. So and then there's the Nintendo 2DS which was a 3DS without the flip. Yeah it was basically just a screen, it was just one giant screen with some buttons strapped onto it. It's kind of weird when you look at it and it's undoubtedly the cheapest model of the 3DS that you can get. And the, two, and the 3D effect is gone. So it's really a 3DS for those who wants to experience the 3DS without actually wanting to spend the money getting a 3DS and don't really care too much about 3D effect. And then there is the Nintendo, the Nintendo, the new 3DS, which was a, 
with which was an, another 3DS that was pretty much the same thing as the XL, but the cartridge slot was moved to the bottom and there is also a second thumbstick. So that was pretty much it for the new 3DS. Of course, in 2018, Nintendo on 2017 or 18, Nintendo launched yet another version of the 3DS. That was the Nintendo new 2DS XL. This was this is the most current version you can buy the 3DS right now at stores. It's been retailed right now for much less money than a, than a Nintendo Switch. And the only thing it does aside from the other versions is that it's got second thumbstick, of course. But then the 3D function is removed as well. So if you wanted to buy 3DS for the 3D function, that will not apply to the to the new 2DS XL. But of course, there are tons of games and tons of versions of the 3DS that you could buy. And if I were to recommend any version of the 3DS, go for the original or the XL. Yeah, sure, the 2DS. And 3DS XL may be a bit more powerful, but they're also more and more expensive. You can find the original the you can find the original 3DS and the 3DS XL for, for pretty cheap. I myself have the 3DS XL and that works just perfectly fine. Just look at this thing. It has a 90% larger screen compared to the original. Here, just for just for comparison. Look. The screens are different. And now it's is much more comfortable to hold. Especially since I like beefy handhelds. And with over and with over 800 games and many versions of to choose from, the 3DS is definitely something you can you should consider today in 2019. And even later, the 3DS will always be an amazing console to collect games for and buy and enjoy and such. Okay, so this was not a game review, it was a hardware review. If you liked it, then, then like this video, share it with a friend, comment and consider subscribing. So with, so with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!